me just Tiffany B and I'm back with another video today as you can tell by the title it is a battle between the foundations the Fenty with the Maybelline Superstay last all day foundation <laughs> alright and real quick before we jump into this video can you guess which side of foundation I have is this side the Maybelline is this side the Fenty go ahead and stop what you're doing comment down below which side do you think is Fenty and which side do you think is Maybelline? So let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Alright guys, so a little about these products before we dive on in. Um, I'm in the shade 420 in Fenty Beauty. I could be a 410 because this runs a little dark on me. I picked up 334. This is Warm Sun. Looking at it. <laughs> It seems like it might be a little light, so hopefully it oxidizes. So we'll see how these two look on my face. So here are them both closed up. The Fenty Beauty has 1.08 fluid ounce and the Maybelline has one fluid ounce. They do both come with pumps. The Fenty is $34. The Maybelline is $9.99 at Walmart. On their website, it does go to $11.99. So if you want to get it cheaper, go ahead and head to Walmart. They, the packaging, both look very similar. 40 shades, 16 shades. So as you could tell, the Fenty one is very runny while the Maybelline seems a little bit more thicker. It does have some run to it. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and put it on my face. I'm gonna be placing my Becca primer around my T-zone. This is what I usually do, so I'm not gonna switch it up. And also to keep it fair, I won't be using my Fenty primer all over the face because that won't be fair at all. And then for all over the face, I'm gonna use my Smashbox primer. I have a whole bunch of these sample sizes, so I need to start using them to get them out of the way. Alright, so I picked two fairly similar brushes by two different companies. This one's from Morphe, this one's from e.l.f., but they're both small stippling brushes, and they're both clean. Fenty Foundation, it says it's a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable to medium to full coverage. Okay. and. The um, boundary break-in range of 40 shades. Hmm. Clap, clap to that 40 shades, okay? Just 40 shades. All right, so, um, so yeah, the Fenty melts into my skin and make, makes it look skin-like. Even with this foundation, I don't usually set my whole face afterwards. Yeah, let's just go ahead and dab it in a little bit. Yeah, I don't have to set my whole face with powder because it melts into my skin perfectly. So that was one layer of foundation. It pretty covered my whole entire face. It's just that I see my little dark spots peeking through right here. So I'm gonna add another pump to my face. If you're watching this right now, go ahead and comment down below what is your favorite foundation because this foundation, Fenty, is my go-to. Now let's move on to the Maybelline Superstay All Day Foundation. Okay, <laughs> off rip, a little goes a long way. Off rip as well, this is not my skin tone. <laughs> this foundation delivers a full 24 hours of concentrated coverage and flawless finish that doesn't fade or shift all day. I'm not gonna be wearing it 24 hours, but that's what it, that's what it says. I can't be mad right now at the foundation because I picked up the wrong shade. It's just that off rip looking at this side, how it just melted into my skin, like skin, and looking at this yellow mess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make it work, you guys. This first layer covered everything. This is like a mask almost. Uh, please oxidize, please oxidize. All right, I'm gonna go, I need a break. Set 
separate from color. This does feel skin like. It has dried down. Um, both sides feel exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'll go ahead and hit you guys back up, show you how it all looks. Two toned or not, I will be doing a wear test with this face to see how the Maybelline side hold up. I used less foundation from the Maybelline side than I did the Fenty side. Just want to say that already. So uh, this bottle will last me a whole heck of a lot longer than this one. Even if it does come with an extra 0 0.08 fluid ounces. If you need like full coverage right away, the first layer out the gate, this foundation is for you so far. So let me go ahead and stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face. BRB. All right, you guys, so this is the overall look. I'm keeping it very natural today because I have so many errands to run today. I want to be comfortable, so team no lashes over here. Just These are just my natural lashes. Um, I think I'm just going to wear gloss all day today, so yeah. This is the overall look. I put both foundation on at 1 o'clock. Right now it is 2.37, so I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I have a lot of errands to run today, so I'm gonna bring y'all along with me and see how the foundations hold up so far. Since All right, you guys, so I wanted to show you the foundation in the sunlight. So this side is the Fenty, and ooh, I can't even see anymore. This side is the Maybelline. It's about 3 p.m. right now, I'm just walking my dog. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So this is how the foundation is holding up so far. We're about to go hit the road. I just need to change my clothes real quick because I'm wearing sweatpants. But a cute top. That's how life goes. Alright, so quick little update. See you guys later. Boom. Right now it is 741. This is the Fenty side. And this is the Maybelline side. So my foundation is holding up pretty good on both sides actually. Like they look the same. If anything the Fenty looks semi more matte than the Maybelline one. But the Maybelline one I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Like my highlighter is shining even more than on the um, Fenty side. So the only thing that's shining is my nose. But well, I'm not going to touch it up. It's almost the end of the day. So... Um, I just finished coming back from the grocery store, so I need to go ahead and drop them off. And then I'll be back home. So I'll go ahead and hit you guys up with a final review when I get home. Alright you guys, so it is 10.54, so I'm going to go ahead and round that to 11 o'clock. And I had the foundations, both foundations on since 1 o'clock. So, if you want to tally that up real quick, I had these foundations on for 10 full hours <laughs> i've been up and down all up in the sun in the car hustling and bustling so i would like to say i did more than enough for these foundations to give my final review after doing some thorough studying of my face i want to say overall both foundations held up very good like both foundations held up very very good other than my nose it's not that shiny everything else is a healthy shine it's not crisco oil dripping from your face since they seem so dang similar we're gonna have to start nitpicking the Maybelline on my forehead started separating over here this is Maybelline with the foundation I can see it really breaking up in between my nose right here now on this side, I don't really see the separation going on. The foundation is still intact. It's not flawless, but it's still intact. Small lines you can see. Th these were like breaking up as soon as I put on the foundations from earlier. But I have one to two cracks over here and I have a few multiple little cracks. You know, my small lines. <laughs> see, Fenty's still the winner because it still held up semi better. They're basically the same. I want to call this a dupe, honestly, because if you look from far away, it's similar. But if you zoom in, there's like little hits that the Fenty lasted longer. But honestly, you guys, if you're like thinking about like, oh my gosh, do I have to spend the $34? 
The Maybelline one is a nice dupe. If you want to go ahead and pick it up, it's going to be very perfect. So if you're on oily skin and you're looking for something that keep the oils at bay and it'll last long, the Maybelline Super Say, it's, it's where it's at. I'm not going to lie. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super shocked with the findings. Like, I can't believe there's a dupe for Fenty, basically. All right, but I'm just saying these drugstore brands are really coming for the high end. Like it's to the point where I don't even need to shop high end no more. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, you guys.